When you play the Game of Thrones, you win. Or you die. There is only one war that matters. And it is here. The HBO fantasy drama became a little too easy to predict in season 7, and the finale set up a number of narratives that will carry over into the new season. Here are 8 things you can expect to see in the new season, based on the developments in the season 7 finale. How it will all end, however, is still up for grabs. 1. Fallout over John and Dany's hookup. We didn't want them to go there but unfortunately Game of Thrones couldn't help itself. John and Danny acted on the sexual tension that's been building all season and slept together in Sunday night's episode. Their romantic tryst was sullied by the fact that the two are related, which was unequivocally confirmed by Bran and Sam in a scene intercut with the sex. The pair are determined to tell John the truth about his parentage, which likely will hinder his budding relationship. But even before they learn that they are aunt and nephew, they may have to deal with Tyrion, who watches them steal away together with what appears to be jealousy in his eyes. Is the hand feeling more than political loyalty to his queen? And will that affect the war against the walkers and slash or Dany's bid for the Iron Throne? Speaking of. 2. Fallout over Jon's place in the line of succession. The fact that Rhaegar and Lyanna were married when Jon was born means that Jon, aka Aegon Targaryen, is officially the heir to the Iron Throne, as the firstborn son of the firstborn son of the most recent Targaryen king. Dany has staked her claim on the Iron Throne on two things, her worth as a leader and the righteousness of her claim. The throne was stolen from her family and she is here to take it back. But the knowledge that there is a member of her family with a better claim could rock her worldview. Underneath it all, Dany has a desire for power, like so many characters on this series. This naked ambition could come to light if she is jockeying for power with John. 3. More effective use of Bran's powers. In the finale, the series established that Bran can visit whatever point in the past he wants, whenever, and he finally used this power to confirm that Rhaegar and Lyanna were married before John was born. Now that he's done this once to answer a specific question, he should hopefully, be doing it again. There's no point in having an all-seeing being in the house if he doesn't see anything. 4. Cersei and Slash or Jaime's death. We didn't think they would make it through season 7, but in a short and White Walker-focused season 8, there won't be much room for the Lannisters. If the series starts to kill off its major characters again, we believe they will go first. If Cersei enters the fray in the north, it leaves open the possibility that Arya could cross another name off her list. If her feud with Jaime gets worse, it could fulfill another prediction from Maggie the Frog. 5. Arya and Sansa working together again. Now that it's clear that the sisters were never at odds, putting on a heck of a performance for Lit Leafing Ur, the question becomes what they will do next. Arya has no designs on being the Lady of Winterfell, a post Sansa is more than excelling at. So, does that perhaps free Arya to put all those killing skills to use against the White Walkers? Or perhaps the sisters will put their combined talents to use against Cersei, who has wronged them both? 6. Euron, Theon, and the Golden Company. Euron didn't just exclude himself from the Game of Thrones narrative, he hatched a secret plan with Cersei to ferry the Golden Company from Essos to West Arrow so she could keep her hold on the Iron Throne. Theon, meanwhile, tried to be a hero and rallied his remaining Ironborn supporters to go rescue Yara. Whether or not the men are successful in their missions, it seems likely that they will met again, perhaps in another naval battle. 7. An answer on Tormund's and Beric's fates. The finale left us unclear about the status of Beric and Tormund, who were on the wall when Vice Ryan let loose his blue fire. It seems unlikely the pair was able to survive the avalanche of ice, but it wouldn't be the first time a character pulled a miraculous save during a life or death situation. 
we'd guess that only one of them makes it out, because someone has to tell John and Danny what the Night King has wrought. And we may be biased, but we hope it's Tormund who pulls through. The series could use his jokes. 8. An Ice and Fire Dragon Battle This one is part wishful thinking, part prediction, but after seeing Vice Ryan unleash his cold blue flame in the final scenes, we can't wait to see what would happen if he went head to head with one of his brothers, like wand battles in the Harry Potter movies. But we certainly know that there will be battles in the Great War, and they will be epic. And it is here.